So listen, EA Coetting has definitely been shut down by Facebook. EA Coetting has been shut down by YouTube. I haven't confirmed that yet because this channel's down. People could just deactivate their deactivate their account. But so far, for what it seems like, he's definitely not on YouTube anymore. Um, but listen, I just want to go back and reflect on a couple of things, and you know, you know, and, and my thoughts is this: he did so many things that contributed to his downfall, and this is going to fly over a lot of people's heads. But if you're in the cult world, then you're probably going to get this. See, the thing is, a couple of years ago, I was trying to tell, I, I, I came out on the scene as a ball call, straight on that Haitian voodoo shit. And that's still where I stand to this day. That shit ain't changing, that shit ain't switching up. Like I told niggas, I come from a background that has over 70 years experience in Haitian voodoo. So I'm still here. And shit, I'm better than before. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But my message was very direct. It was black and white. And I guess, you know, he figured that he wanted to be part of it. And the message I was preaching was not for him, you know, and he got up on social media, making his video call, revealing voodoo secrets and shit like that, you know, and certain, a lot of people took offense to it, right? Because definitely a lot of people felt like he was taking subliminal shots, you know what I'm saying? I mean, let's keep it real. He was taking subliminal shots to me, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, shit, you know, I try to warn him, you know what I'm saying? I try to warn him. And then what you see, next couple of months down the line, he got up online, then he got, then he introduced some other weird, weird looking black dude. I guess I was supposed to be an imitation version of me whatsoever to come up on his channel, you know what I'm saying? To talk this bullshit. He got a Santeria, pra instead of getting a, a Haitian voodoo visa, he got a Santeria practitioner to come on his show whatsoever with a bald head. <laughs> You know, to, to basically co-sign him, utter nonsense, a homogenated, boot-licking Uncle Tom Negro to sit aside from and pretty much agree with all the fuckery he was kicking, right? So anyhow, basically, I dropped the video with sort of a response to that, but the reality was, it was a warning, and I, 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 dropped, pre I dropped many warning videos before that. You know, and what you saw down the line was a couple of months later, he started acting funny. You know what I'm saying? He started, you know, when you looked at his skin, his skin started becoming very pale. Sometimes the skin would swell the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? It would swell the fuck up. And then you would hear his voice. His voice was changed. Now, if you, if y'all remember when he made that video called Voodoo, Reveal of Voodoo Secrets, Voodoo Secrets, he was very healthy then. You know what I'm saying? He was very healthy, up to par. And as soon as he dropped that video, months down the line, EA Coetting started doing some weird ass fucking shit, getting up on social media and looking weird as fuck. And there was a point when EA Coetting actually got on social media and apologized to the voodoo community. A lot of people felt like, yo, a lot of people felt like something was fucking with EA that made him actually get in the video. I, I think some of y'all remember that video where he got up in a wheelchair, you know what I'm saying? He got up in a wheelchair, um, acting, you know, basically apologizing. He took all his voodoo stuff down, you know? I, I mean, before then, he was talking about he's in the desert with a, to pop a leg bar with an ass on, shaking that shit, shh, shh, you know what I'm saying? And he talked all his bow and they print stuff, man. But I don't know what it was. You know, I guess the reality settled in that, yo, this shit's real. He got up on YouTube in a wheelchair, you know, apologizing and all this type of, type of crazy shit, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it was what it was, but it's one of those things. Old boy was talking the most when, you know what I'm saying? He was talking the most. He was very confident, you know what I'm saying? And that's usually what happens to a lot of spiritualists that really say shit about me on social media. You know what I'm saying? They, they talk all tough and then when, you know, the, you know they, they, uh, a couple of months go down the line, they realize... Shit's real. The energy completely changes. <laughs> so listen, you know, that was just, you know, one thing that pretty much set, you know, saying the ball in motion. But 
there's a lot of things that EA Coetti wanted to be. When you think about a ball court in Haitian culture, a ball court is considered like a magician or a mystic, but he's also considered a, 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 I mean, to be honest with you, he's also considered an assassin in my culture. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I think that he tried, of course, he borrowed from other places, but he really tried to be something that he wasn't. Because later on, he starts introducing a philosophy. He starts introducing this thing of human sacrifices. I mean, and then he starts introducing this whole, you know, I'm a, I'm a spiritual hitman thing. Where the fuck do you get that? It's like Pac said, you want to live my life. <laughs> but I'm none of that. I tell people all the time, I'm a Christian. I've never done black magic a day in my life. You know what I'm saying? So, um... Yeah, he started promoting a philosophy which he didn't understand. And then you got, and then I guess what really happened truly recently was the fact that some kid, you know, he took E.A. Quentin's philosophy, you know, literal. And I mean, I can't really say that he, it was up, it was really bad on his part because he, I mean, yeah, he committed a crime. But the thing is, what E.A. Quentin was trying to explain was something that he did not understand. So the human sacrifice thing, see, this is what happens when you culture vulture or culturally appropriate people's shit. You get into confusion. This dude heard about in voodoo that you're able to sell people. There's a time period where I was talking a lot about that. You know what I'm saying? About, you know, what the fuck is selling your soul? You got to be one dumb motherfucker. This was my logic. I said in Haitian culture, niggas, they don't sell, they don't sell their soul. They'll sell a mother, another motherfucker's soul that they hate. And that wasn't no fucking you go and kill a motherfucker. And this is that he didn't understand that. And that's what happens when people culturally appropriate people's culture. He took something that was in spirit energetically and made it concrete. And this is what those people do. They things they don't understand spiritually, they gotta make it carnal, they gotta make it physical and concrete for them to understand. You know what I'm saying? When well, you gotta activate it pineal gland, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna get this shit in a spiritual in a spiritual way. When your act when your pineal gland is calcified, this shit is not gonna make sense to you. So you're gonna have to make it physical in order for you to understand. And that's when the fuckery begins, yo. That's when fuckery falls in motion. Because now you you you're taking some of that in spirit and then you're making it physical. That's like a motherfucker interpreting let the dead bury the dead, right? The motherfucker the Bible asks, what you mean? How can the dead bury the dead? How can a mother how can a how can a man enter his mother's womb a second time? See, this is where the carnal mind begins the the carnal mind gets confused because the carnal decalcified pineal gland motherfucker they're not going to understand spiritual things so that's why they got to understand it physical and what this motherfucker did was put out a whole bunch of books about things that he really didn't understand human sacrifice which got these reprobates you know what i'm saying these novices thinking this shit is fucking literal but where the fuck was he getting that shit from? He was getting it from, you know what I'm saying? He was getting it from, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say, I just play this. He was getting it from a source. He was getting it from a source that, I mean, hey, man, it was it just flew over his head, man. And now you see EA Kawhi and he's fucked up, you know what I'm saying? Dude, he put himself in, in, a, in a very bad situation. And you know what? Let this be a lesson to another, uh, all you other motherfucking occultists that think you're going to basically crack the codes and mysteries of voodoo, African hate or Haitian voodoo, whatever, whatever you want to fucking call it. When you start getting to ATRs, it's a deep fucking science. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's Palo Mayombe, whether it's Haitian voodoo, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the fuck you want to call it. When you start getting to these ATRs, you got to be careful. Because there's certain shit in these fucking African traditions that will fuck you up if you don't know what you're doing. This is not no I'm gonna walk in the park. This is some wicked. This is some wicked shit. This is not that. Niggas have there's been niggas that have died behind this shit. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. You are gonna get fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So, hey man, EA Coetting is just an example to you white folks thinking that you're gonna just jump into shit and cultural appropriate motherfucking shit all y'all want. You know what I'm saying? Let EA Coetting be example to y'all motherfuckers. With that said, I'm out. <laughs>